Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, General Technology Knowledge. Today I would like to show and share about how to communication and connect between uh, PC to the PLC S Van 200 Smart CPU SR30 and all uh, so connect with EM AR02. It is the PT100 input to channels, and uh, also connect with the EM AM03. It is the input to channels and output one channel. Okay. So to uh, communication between our computer with the PLC S Van 200 Smart DC view. I will use LAN cable and uh, I will uh, use the Simatic Step 7 MicroWin Smart version 2.5 to uh, communication. Okay, so uh, let's go. Okay, so uh, first I would like to open the Step 7 MicroWin Smart that we already uh, installed on our PC. So let's open. It is the version 2.5. Okay. And to communication between our PC with the PLC, we are LAN cable, or we can say Ethernet cable, or RJ45. So uh, let me connect the LAN cable to my PC and PLC. Yes, connect to PLC also. And then let uh, go to set the temporary IP of computer and we also uh, can test with the CPU IP address by go to the Ethernet LAN hardware cable and here is the IP address of the PLC 192.168.2.2 yes and uh, if we click OK it uh, should be uh, has some error because we not yet set the temporary IP or set the manual IP address of our computer okay so let's go to set the manual IP address of computer let's go to open the network go to Ethernet go to the Ethernet adapter and go to uh, property go to IP4 yes CTP IP address and then uh, we can set to uh, the rank yes that I already mentioned in the slide here is the IP address of PLC 192.168.2.2 and here is the IP address of our computer so 192.168.2.253 so we can put 192.168.2.253 and for subnet map we can put 255.255.255.0 because it classy and then we can click OK OK again and close and one more thing we can check the firewall yes window firewall by go to the control panel go to uh, window firewall here and make sure we uh, must put off for this window firewall Otherwise, we cannot connect to the PLC. Okay, so we temporarily close it first.
and then we can click find CPU again to refresh okay right now it detect the CPU again and then click OK yes so now we can click OK because we uh, already put the manual IP address of our computer so let me ping to test 192.168.2.2 right okay it so like it mean that we can communication between our PC with the PLC okay so we can do uh, by upload download or create a new program to the PLC okay so first step I would like to upload to upload the program from the PLC please click on upload yes and if everyone would like to save the file that already back up from the PLC we can click yes and put the file name example uh, smart backup one and then we can click upload yes so uh, very fast so after upload we can online to check the condition of the logic yes so right now it show around uh, 26 degrees is here for uh, channel number one of analog input because right now I already connected the Thermocouple and PT100 to the channel number 1 and number 2 of unlock input okay so it show the status so uh, here is the method how to upload the program from PLC as 200 smart CPU SR30 by using the LAN cable so the next step I would like to show about how to create a new program and uh, download to the PLC okay so let's go together so I will uh, don't save this one first or we can save because otherwise we will lose something here if we not save yes so we can keep if we click save okay so to create the new program we must to know the hardware yes so our hardware is uh, CPU SR30 and here is the expansion module AR02 yes and uh, this is a expansion module more EM AR AM03 yes so we need to put the expansion module to modules right okay so uh, let's go to the software again to create the new project and hardware configuration follow this step okay so first I will open the step 7 microwind smart again and go to uh, communication again don't forget and select the correct adapter hardware of Ethernet that we already connect the LAN cable to this module okay so right now it detect the CPU again and I can click OK to confirm and to uh, create the hardware configuration we must to know the model number or serial number of the module right so the first one is CPU SR30 the second one is EMAR02 and the third one is EMAM03 okay so first I select the CPU SR30 yes here 
and the SB I can use the battery yes and for CPU uh, setting we can uh, config when start up if we set like this it means that when the power on the CPU is stopped but actually we want to uh, run the CPU if power on yes so we can set run and then go to the communication here is the IP address yeah so we can also link with the PBI cable that I already show in the previous video and for the input output we can use also yeah digital output and for slot EM number 0 here we can set the EM AR02 yes so I will insert EM AR02 here yes this one 2AI RTD yes so 2AI RTD and for EM01 here EM AM03 so we can select EM AM03 if we set config the hardware configuration wrong we cannot download or uh, when we download we uh, will got the error okay so I will choose the correct uh, expansion module so EM AM03 and if you would like to config example for EM number 0 for RTD 2 channels I can use the RTD 2Y PT100 and scale is uh, the gray basis for channel number 1 also choose 2 Ys resistant yes and PT100 also and for channel number two yes we have totally three channels right for module number two and channel number one i will uh, choose current for input we have uh, 0 to 20 milliamp and for channel number one i also choose uh, 0 to 20 milliamp and for output i will use uh, 0 to 10 volt yes and we can uh, click ok after we hardware configuration ok so here is uh, the address that we will uh, use the first one is AIW16 to AIW18 it is the two channels of RTD input and here is the three channel yeah so it will start from AIW32 and for output AQW32 okay so for the address it will uh, arrange automatically we don't set it okay so click OK and then we need to show the actual of temperature to channel right because right now I already connect the PT100 to channel number 1 and number 2 of unlock input uh, EM0 okay so to show the actual temperature first let's go to convert from integer to real right and then divide by 10 so let's go to uh, all the way on so SM 0, 0.0 and go to convert right so uh, double integer sorry uh, integer to double integer so I can write integer to double integer here and then uh, I will create the temp file right temp variables here example uh, 
var one and the data type is double integer right because we need to put here so uh, double integer so temp var one and here is the address of uh, analog input channel number one right so channel one number one it will start from AIW 16 so AIW 16 yes and then we need convert from double integer to real right so uh, double integer to real and choose var1 and I will create the var2 variables so var2 and the data type is real because we uh, convert from the double integer to real okay so uh, var2 and then I will divide this one by 10 right it is the formula so divide real divide this one by 10.0 and then here is the output that we will got to show on the HMI or show on the some uh, devices okay so I will put the memory example MD0 it is real and for channel number 2 I will do the same so I can copy here copy here and then copy here and just change the variable and address of the output right so uh, the first one I will change to var3 so I will create the variable var3 it is the double integer so var3 and this one should be var3 also and I will create one more variable called var4 it is the real right so real so should be var4 and then copy and paste var4 divide by 10 and output should be md4 right okay so we can compile the program yes no error occur and for analog output we can also write right so example uh, we can use the move yes So this one should be uh, analog out, right? AQW32 AQW32 Yes And this one we can put VW uh, 100 example, yes So uh, we can test so first we can save the program yes I can put the name example uh, new project of PLC smart yes and then we can uh, communication again to confirm find the CPU again and it detect the CPU again and click OK and we can download yes and I will show right now the CPU is running so let me show Let's see the CPU is running. So if I put, I click uh, download and click there, it will stop the CPU and then start download the program to the PLC, right? 
And after finish, I can click uh, yes to run the CPU again. And the CPU is restart and running. Okay. So we can also online to check the status of the PLC. Yes. So uh, right now, uh, for channel number zero, it show around. 26.7 degrees Celsius and channel number 2 I will change the input so it should be AIW18 uh, and uh, you can then uh, let me download again run again and then online again so it it show around uh, 28 yes 28 degrees Celsius and for unlock output uh, right now zero yes so if you would like to uh, test the unlock output we can also test okay so uh, let me show the Wall right because uh, we uh, put the wall for unlock output here yes 0 to 10 volt so uh, I will connect the multimeter and let everyone know the wall actually we can set from here right so uh, let me show Okay, right now I already connected the multimeter to analog output of channel number 1 of module number 2, yes. So uh, the rank of this module is uh, the raw value is from 0 to uh, 27,648, yes. Yeah. And uh, from 0 to 10 volt DC yes so if we would like to set a uh, 5 volt DC we can uh, divide divide between uh, to uh, 27,648 divide by 2 equal one three eight two four right so if I set one three eight two four let's see the wall around four point ninety nine let me show yes let's see wall around uh, 4.99 yes so if we would like to set the maximum we can adjust so uh, 27,648 we got 10 volt okay so this is the analog output yes So uh, we can uh, upload the program or we can uh, download the program or modify the program that we want by using the LAN cable and uh, our software, okay? So uh, thank you very much for watching my video. And if everyone uh, have any question, please kindly drop comment under my video. I will reply soon. Oh, uh, I don't forget test this thermocouple, sorry, uh, PT100 to see the signal. So uh, let me test. So I will hit the PT100 for channel number 1 and number 2 to let everyone see. The first, I hit the channel number 2. Let's see the value is start change, yes, to... Uh, 
49 sorry uh, 71 degrees Celsius and 49 number 2 sorry number 1 I can also uh, test by hit the PC 100 let's see the value is start increase let me hit more Okay, start increase 34 degrees Celsius. Yes, so it's very easy for uh, communication between uh, PLC as when 200 smart via LAN cable to step 7 microbit smart version 2.5. Okay, so I hope this video is uh, very useful to everyone yes and I would like to request all of you to like share and subscribe my video also to get more notification and more new videos that I will create step by step so in this time I would like to say thank you very much again and see you next videos bye bye